Hello my makeup freaks and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi I'm Elvira. No really, I'm Stephanie. Today I'm just showing you how to get this quick and easy Elvira look. This is also a collab with some of my best friends here on YouTube so please go and check out their videos. I will have their pictures um, so you can see their looks and stay tuned for the tutorial. guys I have to apologize I actually thought I was recording and it didn't record so I put on my foundation already I used the bare minerals bare skin foundation if you are pale like I am just use your lightest foundation and if you want to be super pale you can add a little bit of white face paint with the foundation as far as hair I didn't do this on camera, but I just wanted to quickly mention it because I talked about it when I thought I was recording. Basically, you can just turn your head upside down, tease, tease, tease forever, like literally I teased for probably 20 minutes, and spray it, flip it back over. You kind of want almost a 80s rocker kind of thing. She had kind of a beehive going on, but it was more of like an 80s rocker. And she was wearing a wig, so by all means, if you want to wear a wig or you don't have, you know, like dark hair or long hair, you can wear a wig. So, yeah, the only thing I've done is put on my Bare Minerals foundation and some concealer powder. And I'm now using this Milani Red Vino blush. She has very, very sculpted cheekbones, but she's done it with blush instead of bronzer so that's what I was doing and basically you just want to go down almost like where you would put your bronzer but a little bit more onto the cheekbone and just really work it where it's kind of going at an angle you want it really kind of cut if that makes any sense and don't be afraid that you're going overboard. This is a Halloween look, so that is fine. And the same thing on the other side. Now just make sure the only thing is you don't have it too close to your mouth. That may look weird if you have like a stripe going straight to your mouth. But I grew up watching Elvira. I don't know. I loved horror movies and to me she I know a lot of people like look at her look at her as like a sex symbol and I mean, I never thought of her like that. I guess I kind of thought of her as like she could be like a vampire or she could be a witch. I don't know. It was just, she was like horror to me. And so I liked her and I thought she was funny. Now, my mom may not have liked me watching it as much as I liked watching it, but oh well. So there you go. Kind of have your nice red defined cheeks. So I'm going to put on the Milani eyeshadow primer. And I'm sorry if you can hear some bass. My next door neighbors have just moved in and they seem to do this all day and all night. I guess they like to listen to their music really loud in the driveway yay so I'm going to be taking my electric palette and not quite sure what brush I'm going to take I'm just going to take a flat shader brush and I'm going to go into this jolted color here And she seemed to have like a lot of pink or purple eyeshadow on. So that is what I'm going to do. 
So her look was very, very 80s. Did it maybe a third of a way in and up kind of onto my crease. And do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to take some of that and I'm going to go up underneath my um, lower lash line and put that around there too. Like that. Okay. It's looking kind of very 80s. Now I'm going to take another brush and I'm going to go into Urban which is the purple one. And I'm going to fill in the rest of my lid. a little bit up underneath the eyes. I don't want to um, cover up the pink though, so this is more close to the lash line. Okay. And then I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to kind of blend out the top of this look. To make it a little less harsh. Okay, now let's take a Benefit Their Real Push Up Liner and truthfully I should have used this probably before doing this look because this is my first time using it but we are going to hope for good things. Her look is very kind of dominant with the eyeliner so we're going to be very careful so guys I'm really sorry I got really quiet right here um, basically she has outdrawn her eyes as far as eyeliner so you kind of want to make it going further than your eye in the corner closer to your nose and also on the bottom so you almost have a open eyed doll effect at the bottom and basically just outline your upper and lower lid and make a wing um, she doesn't really have a super out there wing you can just go however far or however much you want your wing to be. The main part of it is that you do want okay. that over um, done front part. And then you just want to do the same thing on the other eye. Just make sure you over draw the front. And there you go. Inside of the where we have the lines here going to take the silver which is called revolt and just going to put that right there she has like a white highlight I'm just gonna put the silver because I didn't bring a white highlight and I think it will look just fine I'm going to put a 
mascara on. This is just the Wet n Wild Mega Impact. I am not very good at putting lashes on, but I'm going to try because that was kind of a thing with her to have lashes. Wait till the glue is dry or till it's tacky. are kind of wild but once again it is Halloween so that's the eyes and she always had a bold red lip so that is what we're going to be doing and I'm going to be doing a little bit of a black outline with it too so something like that. Take a red lipstick. It can be any red. This is just Tarte Candy Red. And I like this one because it is um, shiny and her lipstick was always shiny. It wasn't like a matte red, but if that's what you have, that's what you can use and just put a gloss on it. So I hope you enjoyed this Elvira tutorial. It was super fun to do. And yeah, please go check out the other girls in the collab. Let me know um, what you were going to be for Halloween. And if you watched Elvira as a kid, I'll talk to you guys later. I love you. Bye.